Hey, what's shaking everybody? My name is Garrett. Today we are firing up the medium on the Xbox Series X. This will be captured in 4K for those of you who can enjoy it. No, really nothing about the game. I've seen a little bit of play uh, just to kind of get an idea what it is. And uh, oh, no, <laughs> I always hate it. But it's supposedly kind of a adjust the brightness to your desired level. Okay. I think that right there. <laughs> Supposedly, this is kind of like a, uh, um, a psychological game, not necessarily a horror title. Some show, yes, subtitles. Yeah, we'll keep that off. And two seconds while I check settings here. Hold on. All right, I was double checking. I I was seeing make sure the graphical settings are comparable to what we want to do. Supposedly this is an RTX. I'm going to have to triple check on that for my sources I was reading. It is. Hopefully, hopefully we're right. It all starts with a dead girl. Okay. Oh, my controller. I have to wake up. Under most circumstances, I would have said this is starting off with a bang. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not a funny joke. Ever since I was little, I've had this... dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then... The gunshot. <sighs> it always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar. Part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. Character model looks a little okay. stiff there. Not gonna lie, it looked kind of the off. Hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. To dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Tie clip, huh?
Okay. It's logbook. Yeah. Nice to see you, too. Hi, kitty. Jack's room. It's like he never... Damn it. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack... He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Come on, let me pet the cat. Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. There you are. Okay. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. What's down the hallway over here? I want to check. Oh, wow, we got a lot of stuff in here. Looks... Nourishing. Oh, we can feed the cat. Maybe. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. Illuminate photo for five seconds, dip in multi grade for three. Stop three what dip in stop for three seconds, dip in fixer for three seconds. Huh. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. So put it there. For five seconds, huh? Doing it right. <laughs> so far, so good. I think. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Shit. Cool. That was a little fun little game there, wasn't it? Interesting. Details in the world look pretty decent so far. It reminds me so far, and I was wondering if it was going to, it vaguely, maybe just minutely reminds me of something like a uh, murdered soul suspect. And I really love that game. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. 
Is there anything this way? No? Okay. What's in this room? Because we haven't been in here yet. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. <laughs> Kids from the orphanage, not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back, to play, to take care of them, to listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them, to ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Oof. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Can I look at inventory? So there is combining as well, because if I select something, I can combine it here. Okay. Use my sense. This is where we started off. What's in the? Or is that just our cigarette? I, I was looking for a like a, a cat bowl to feed the cat in. That's my cigarette tray, I think. Oh, there's the cat bowl. I was wondering. So I, on the way out, I was like, oh, there's. I thought that was an X there for the. There you go. What's your face? Um, chair. Glad to see you're still kicking around. You go, kitty. Can't do anything there. The camera angle definitely, I mean, this resembles like the old Resident Evil style games or the uh, Silent Hill games. Was that? No, I never played any of the original Silent Hills. I take it back. I don't think they had fixed camera angles. It was Resident Evil styled. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Why is my controller going crazy? Because of the rain? I really hope it was. Take this to the funeral home. Yeah. Who doesn't? <laughs> Make sure there's nothing all the way down here. Shadows look really good. In most areas, the uh, textures look really good, too. Got my uh, impression so far. Jack's in the prep room. Sound is pretty on point so far. Is 
So he died of a car accident, embalming, dressing body, uh, flowers. Here it is. Ah, didn't realize I needed a key. Good thing I came in here. Oh, oh. Those camera angles sometimes can really screw with me. Like that, when it changes. Okay. I wonder why he wants me. Does it just want me to look at things here? Is that all this is? It's making sure. special clip no where's your tie uh maybe the jacket area no i was like why isn't let me put the clip on oh there we go snazzy you wouldn't have it any other way I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. people read the signs that's closed <gasps> oh boy oh <laughs> I don't like this check upstairs what about want to is that an option I've seen that shadow. Ain't dumb seen it. And it wasn't mine. My shoulders are definitely not that broad. Yeah. Okay. Somebody's breaking stuff. What the hell? Again. Because you felt it too, huh? So. And then it happened. As it 
did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. We shifting? Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is the cool thing. Where is that star notebook? I'm gonna be late. Jack? Marianne? Oh. Oh. Marianne, are, are you... Are you crying, my child? I... It's fine, Jack. Now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Eh? Where is that? Thing? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh no, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just. What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You, you are crying. Oh my God! This this storytelling element. Why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Where is that shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, Jack. Oh my god, I love this! It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Hmm? Don't worry about it. Uh, it's time to get some rest. Oh. I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once I would never let anything happen to you. Oh, man. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's got to be oh, so nice hard. Stuff, then. Huh? All right. All right, Jack. Now, get uh, some rest. I need. Oh, yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my. God, I'm gonna start crying, and I don't even know what the hell's going on here. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. Oh, I'm sure it doesn't. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But... No. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Okay. If this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It 
all starts with a dead girl. Oh. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. Wow. Alrighty then. What is up with all this? <laughs> I'm just kind of freaking out now. What am I playing? Troy Baker's in this? Wow, I didn't realize Troy was in this. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Well, I could tell from here. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pause it right here. Continue our journey in the next episode. Start putting some pieces to, of the puzzle together, I guess, or something. So, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like. It does help me out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because I have tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys, stay frosty.